Hong Yong is a South Korean actor who is revealing his potential and crafting his own character in various works, including the movie Innocence, Netflix's drama DP, and SBS's drama Ravenant. He also showed his acting transformation through Wave's original series Weak Hero, earning an invitation to the on-screen section of the 27th Busan International Film Festival. On top of that, attention is being paid to what kind of chameleon-like appearance he will present in the future. Check out these 10 things you might not know about Hong Kyung. He aspired to act through frequent movie visits. Hong Kyung was born on February 14, 1996, in South Korea. His hobbies are watching movies, reading, and drawing, while his special skills are swimming, taekwondo, and soccer. Since childhood, his love for going to the cinema has naturally led him to dream of becoming an actor. He shared, since I was young, I loved going to the movies, enjoying both Korean and foreign films. When I was in school and thinking about my career path, I thought about the things I liked. Because I really like movies, I naturally began to consider the individuals who make movies, particularly what it's like for those who act. He then made sure to finish his studies first before stepping into the battlefield-like industry. He earned his degree in acting as a theater and film major from the prestigious Hanyang University, before finally focusing on his career as an actor. He won monologue acting contests. When he was a high school student, he won the 2013 KAC Youth Monologue Acting Contest. He took part in the Actor Project 62nd Monologue Festival during the 2018 Seoul Independent Film Festival, where he once again clinched an award. It was during this event that the director of the 2021 movie A Distant Place discovered his video and cast him in the movie. His first critical acclaim speech prompted laughter. Unlike many other actors, Hong Yong debuted at the age of 21, which is considered later than most. He bagged a supporting role in the drama Queen of Mystery, which earned him the opportunity to appear in school 2017 and while you were sleeping in the same year. In 2020, he made his film debut with the crime drama Innocence, portraying a character diagnosed with autism. His remarkable performance garnered him his first-ever critical acclaim, leading to him winning the Best New Actor Award at the 2021 Bexong Arts Awards. During his acceptance speech, Hong Yong was overwhelmed with a flood of emotions, including sheer panic at the unexpected victory, which amused the audience. The lighting director, oh gosh, what was his name again? I, uh, I seriously can't think of it right now, I'm so sorry. I don't remember. I will call you all individually. I'm sorry. At one point, as his voice completely cracked on the brink of bursting into tears, he apologized for being an emotional mess. Oh, no. I really shouldn't cry because this is being recorded and there will be videos. He ended up addressing his stylist, which inevitably prompted laughter due to the comment. Oh no. What, I can't remember the styling team leader's name now. I don't remember, I'm sorry. But it's the same person who does Song Joongi Sunbae Nim's hair. I'm so sorry, I don't remember. It caused Song Joongi to laugh as well. Initially, his CEO had doubts about him taking on the role in Innocent. Hong Yong played a minority role in society in the movie Innocent, which led him to approach his performance with a sense of responsibility. Instead of guessing, the actor took the time to learn about the role thoroughly to make him look as real as he could. When asked about his CEO's opposition, he responded, rather than opposing, when I first worked with the company, I had nothing, I didn't have any experience. So I think the CEO was not sure if I could pull it off. But now the CEO trusts me more than anyone else. He appeared in music videos. As a rising actor, he was also given the chance to star in the music video of Can Control Myself, a rock song released by Girls' Generation Taeyeon in 2022. In 2023, he appeared in another music video for the song Tomorrow by the singer Carr, The Garden. He is also involved in voice acting. Apart from his on-camera acting career, the actor decided to venture into voice acting as well. He will be voicing the main character for the upcoming animated film Lost in Starlight. He plays Jay, a talented musician with an knack for fixing retro sound instruments. Hong Yong teams up with his Ravenant co-star, Kim Terry. He was never obsessed with popularity. After taking on various roles since his debut in 2017, his fame has surged, particularly after his role in Weak Hero Class 1. The actor expressed his fondness for the project while also revealing his deep side. He said he has never been concerned about popularity. 
He told Arena Korea, while doing this job, I've never once thought about whether I should become popular or famous. The one goal I've set for myself during my 20s is to never let myself be consumed by meaningless things. I guess it's my desire to stick to my own path without being swayed by the trend. He has a clear understanding of his preferences and distinctive tastes. Therefore, he focuses on things that present a challenge, spark his curiosity, move him emotionally, and bring out new aspects of his personality. He likes to spend time outside. At first glance, it might seem like Hong Yong prefers staying indoors, but that's not the true essence of his personality. He shared, I don't like to stay indoors, so I spend a lot of time outside. On my days off, I often travel or visit exhibitions. I tend to think that to create output, there must be input. I find enjoyment in seeking inspiration from outside. He is interested in photography. Observing his Instagram account, it's clear that he has taken many of the photos himself. In addition to acting, he also has a keen interest in photography. He said in an interview, I have a fondness for taking pictures of people. I'm curious about people's thoughts and the environments they've come from. I may not think as deeply as I do when I'm acting. But I still find characters and their complexities really interesting. He has a unique name for one of his dogs. Despite his nervousness in his speech at the Beksong Arts Awards, he made sure to thank his supportive family, which included his parents, his sibling, his grandmother, and, last but not least, his three dogs. I have three dogs, by the way. One E, Coco, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Thank you guys. It caught our attention because he mentioned the name of a highly renowned Hollywood star Leonardo DiCaprio.